I looked at tall, stoop-shouldered Cardinal Spencer, the most eligible of all the candidates. I'm convinced he was already drafting his first paper address in his head, maybe even composing his first encyclical. I must have chanted those words a thousand times before they opened the voting again. Like a mantra, not him, me, not him, me, not him, me, and then toward the end, not them, me. And now I'm the Pope, not them. I spoke my new name, Pius the 13th, and they forgot to thank God because they thought God had failed to illumine them. I forgot to thank God because I didn't think God had illumined them either. I love myself more than my neighbor, more than God. I believe only in myself. I am the Lord omnipotent. Lenny, you have illumined yourself. I'm also intransigent, irritable, vindictive, and I have a prodigious memory. I do not have an image because I am no one. Only Christ exists. Only Christ. You want to look me in my face? Go see God first! Because everyone is alone before God. You'll be a terrible pope. The worst. You were not supposed to be the man of a providence. You were supposed to be the pope of a compromise. Would you have blackmailed the Holy Father? You haven't figured out that your old methods only work on the old popes who are afraid of losing consensus. I am the young pope. I put no stock in consensus. From this day forward, everything that was wide open is going to be closed. That's the only way we will once again become desirable. And I don't want any more part-time believers. I want fanatics for God. And this pope cannot be blackmailed. Let's root out all the homosexuals and expel them. No to common law marriages. No to gay marriages. Absolute prohibition of abortion in all cases. Everyone is afraid of me. You've got to cut it out, the fear of the homeless. No one loves me. Which is why I'm prepared for every kind of vileness from everyone. When are you going to grow up? A priest never grows up because he can never become a father. He'll always be a son. I love God because it's so painful to love human beings. It would be wonderful to love you the way you want to be loved. You've healed the sick. You've made a hopelessly sterile woman pregnant. You are a saint. We are all guilty. We are all guilty of war and death. All. In the same way, we can all be guilty of peace. All. Think about all the things you like. That is God. Now look at whoever is next to you. Look at them with eyes of joy. If you want to see God, you have the means to do it. I love you all. You don't know how wonderful peace is. You have no idea of how disconcerting peace can be. God does not allow himself to be seen. God does not shout. God does not whisper. Who is God? God smiles. Now, I beg all of you, smile. Smile. Smile.